Number 12. Meet the CyberCat, a miniature remote-controlled EV designed to help you clear snow. Inspired by Tesla's Cybertruck, the Mini EV starts at $1,299. Tesla's Cybertruck has encountered a number of delays on the road to production, but that hasn't stopped the highly anticipated polygonal pickup from inspiring a myriad of new concepts along the way. The latest of these is a miniature, remote-controlled snowcat designed to help you clear snow in the depth of winter. The aptly named Cybercat was penned by Ryan Butler of the startup Spiker Workshop. With a sharp, angular silhouette and very few curves, the sleek electric vehicle is the mirror image of its muse but is fitted with wide tracks that allow it to cut through a thick white blanket of snow. Number 11. The Mariner X. Unmanned Surface Vehicle USV. Cost-effective and risk-reducing maritime data acquisition. The Coastal USV System. The Unmanned Future. The Mariner X Unmanned Surface Vehicle USV is a multi-purpose unmanned vehicle for offshore and coastal applications. The Mariner X can be launched from port and transit offshore or deployed from vessel-based avid. Designed primarily for survey not speed, the vessel has two actuated moon pools and two dedicated sensor positions. The Mariner X USV is made of polyethylene and offers a very stable, unsinkable, and near maintenance free construction. Maritime robotic sea control allows for command and control of the Mariner X with seasight providing situational awareness through radar, AIS, and camera integration. Number 10. Volkswagen introduces pod-like center concept car for fully driverless future. German car manufacturer Volkswagen has imagined a friendly new shape for cars of the future based on emerging electric and driverless technologies. Cedric, a self-deriving car, was unveiled yesterday at the 2017 Geneva Motor Show. It is the company's first fully autonomous concept car, designed for a time when autonomous technology on the roads no longer requires the supervision of a human driver. The capsule-like vehicle builds on new electric technologies, which Volkswagen believes open up possibilities to redesign the car for heightened comfort and leisure. On the outside, the friendly-faced car has no bonnet or shoulders, creating a more boxy shape with more space in the frame for a comfortable interior. This is enabled by a flat battery pack that would sit between the axles, with a compact electric motor located at the level of the wheels. Number 9. Region C Glider. Shark-funded Region C Glider concept will be made in the U.S. With funding from Dallas Mavericks owner and Shark Tank investor Mark Cuban and Fitbit founder James Park, Region has announced that it's moving forward with a proof-of-concept model for its revolutionary 180 miles per hour float, foil, fly electric sea glider. Region's Sea Glider prototype will be built by the Moore Brothers Company, a Rhode Island-based composite manufacturing, research, and development firm with a proven track record of designing and delivering high-end composite body parts. And, if it's not immediately clear what exactly they'll be building here, don't worry, it's not you. The Sea Glider is an interesting thing that's not quite a conventional boat, not quite an electric hydrofoil, and not quite an airplane. Despite that, it will float on its boat Y hull from dock end, while in no wake zones, at speeds below 20 miles per hour, about 17 knots. Number 8. Personal Electric Vehicle Concept for 2020 by Sergio Luna. A new electric car concept. A new electric personal vehicle concept tries to convince the car makers to think about a cleaner type of car. This compact and clean electric vehicle, designed by Sergio Luna, 
forgets about all the aspects of the modern car and uses a pod-like exoskeleton to create something that looks more like a ball than a car. Inspired by the Segway vehicle, this concept has only two wheels and a panoramic roof that is also the front window. It can accommodate one person that, looking at the pictures, I can't imagine how he will get in. The car is powered by four electric motors, two in each wheel, but it also has batteries for keeping the energy. Number 7. Reverse three-wheeled Afrita S6 folds up in one second. Reverse three-wheel concept. Afrita S6 takes its design cues from a reverse three-wheel motorcycle. The brand believes it is perfect for any rider, regardless of age, and in any given situation, whether for commuting, family gatherings, or adventure trips. What makes the electric bike fold up in a second is the suspension structure that is combined with the articulated quadrilateral suspension structure and two front wheels. The soft bend of the rods in the bike design can sustain a 40-degree side deviation without falling, a feature of safety and stability even when drifting at high speed or in small turning radius situations. The two front wheels have a maximum vertical swing of more than 11 inches, so it has superior shock absorption and easily crosses obstacles. Therefore, Afrita S6 is adaptable to any road conditions with a more stable body posture, greater grip, and shorter braking distances than any other two wheel e-bikes. Number 6. Honda's new V is a mini electric concept car with emotional intelligence. Honda is another car maker focused on supplementing the driving experience with an emotional, AI-based component. The new V, Honda's latest concept which it unveiled at CES on Thursday, is a city-friendly lightweight electric car that is Honda's automated network assistant, Hana, built with SoftBank, on board to help personalize the driving experience. Through HANA, the car becomes aware of a driver's emotions and moods, and can support driving choices as well as suggest media do other infotainment options. New V has other tricks up its sleeve, too. The all-electric vehicle is designed to answer the issue of idle vehicles, which is most cars most of the time, according to recent studies that show up to 96% idea rates for vehicles where they're just sitting in driveways or otherwise parked. New V is designed to operate as a part of an autonomous ride-sharing fleet, letting owners generate revenue from their vehicles when they're not in use. Number 5. Helix Robotics Neptune The Remote-Operated Water Characterization Helix Neptune is a 400 kg amphibious robot that excels at water characterization. It normally carries a sonar head on a retractable mount for bathymetric surveys, as well as the ability to deploy in situ characterization tools on a flexible line to a depth of 200m. Copperstone Technologies has developed Helix, a family of autonomous field robots to collect mission-critical data in hazardous environments. Copperstone Technologies has modernized the screw-drive vehicle and adapted it to work as a robotic platform specifically for environmental monitoring and tailings investigations. The patented screw drives are pontoons that enable flotation, with a helical grouser acting as a propeller when spun at high speed in the water. At low speeds, the vehicle can crawl through soft mud deposits or act as a wheel on hard ground. Helix has many advantages over other modes of propulsion and is perfectly suited to the variety of terrain and seasonal conditions encountered on tailings. Number 4. In Motion V12 HT. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of a new electric unicycle release. 
the expectation for the newer generation wheels is for them to be bigger, faster, and stronger, taking us to speeds never seen before on one wheel. As a thrill seeker, I love bigger, faster, and stronger or BFS. But as a husband to my beautiful wife and as a father of four, I prioritize QRS, quality, reliability, and speed. So of course I want a wheel that's bigger and faster and stronger, but not if it sacrifices quality, reliability, and safety. Till now, the fastest and most powerful wheels are either sold out, veteran Sherman, or are made by a company with such shoddy workmanship and an unacceptably high failure rate, got way slash big owed, that even a company name change won't shape the image of catastrophic cutouts and spontaneous fires. For me, 16 inches is the sweet spot of not too small, not too big, but just right where beginners won't be overwhelmed and even the most experienced riders will enjoy. Number 3. Moon Bikes announces full specs and pricing for its electric snow bike. Right around this time last year, we first heard about the Moonbike electric snow bike. Although the French-designed vehicle was in prototype form back then, its makers have now announced full specs and pricing for the production version. To recap our previous coverage, the Moonbike is a single-passenger battery-powered rig with a snowmobile-like rubber tread in the back and a snowboard-like steerable ski on a suspension fork in the front. And no, it doesn't have pedals, just a throttle. The just announced production model has a top speed of 42 kilometers per hour, 26 miles per hour. Its 3 kilowatts motor puts out 170 newton meters, 125 lbft of torque and is powered by a quick swappable 2.5 kilowatt hour lithium battery. One 5.75 hour charge of that battery or three hours with an optional fast charger is claimed to be good for one hour of use in sport mode or 1.5 hours in eco mode. Number two. Gyroball is an electric ball you can ride to work. If you've ever wanted to ride a ball to work, now you can. Gyroball is a spherical, self-balancing electric vehicle that can travel at more than 12 miles per hour. It looks like a large soccer ball or basketball with retractable foot platforms coming out of its core. It's available for pre-orders Tuesday before it ships in September. The rideable rubber ball comes from vehicle company Moby, which works with pioneers from the weird rideable market like the inventor of the self-balancing unicycle launched back in 2005. However, Gyroball doesn't claim to be a hoverboard or other one-wheel vehicles, like the easy-to-remember one-wheel skateboard that recently released a smaller 27-inch long pint version, but its own category. The vehicle's rotating ball shape is supposed to allow for agile movements and since it's self-balancing, theoretically you just have to move your body to move forward, no remote control necessary. But that can often be easier said than done, and depending on your skills it can take many sessions attempting to master riding the rechargeable ball. Number 1. YX1's three-wheel, all-terrain electric scoot board hits the trails. We're not entirely sure how to categorize this weird electric three-wheeler, but it seems to offer impressive off-road capabilities on top of scary top speeds and a practical commuting range if you don't mind taking a wide stance. It's probably best understood as a monowheel hoverboard that's been relieved of its self-balancing duties by means of a whitish pair of Outrigger wheels on the front. The large 13-inch rear wheel is sprung, damped, and driven by an electric hub motor peaking at 1,500 watts, enabling a top speed around 40 km per hour, 25 miles per hour, and its 624 WH onboard battery is good for a range up to 60 km, 37 miles, with a featherweight rider going slow on a flat road. 
If you're a tad porkier and playing with it off-road, you're looking at more like 32 kilometers, 20 miles, which still seems like a very usable range figure to us, and opens the YX1 up to urbanites as a means of commuting and putting the fear of God into old ladies on the footpath.